bum 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 We're gonna do the Nintendo tag Da 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 Bum 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 That was really long. Sorry about that. Today we're gonna be doing the Nintendo tag! Yes! I'm so excited because I'm a giant nerd who loves video games and books. So the first video I saw of this was Kat at Cattytastic, and I will link her video below. But the tag was actually created by Novels and Nonsense, and her video is really neat, and I will leave it in the down bar. So go check out their videos, but let's get into it. The first one we're going to be doing is the NES, which is the Nintendo Entertainment System. First big thing, it's a classic. So what is a classic that you want to read? That's going to be The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. So I tried to read this one. Everyone has really controversial opinions about it and I really, really want to read it and I got halfway through and then I just didn't care about Holden Caulfield anymore. I didn't dislike it. I just had other things to do, so I put it down, but I do want to go back and read that. The second one, the Super Nintendo, a sequel that you liked better than the original. This one was super hard for me because I like a lot of sequels, sometimes better than the first, especially in a series because you get more world building. But for this one, I'm going to do something I haven't done yet, City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Number three, Nintendo 64, something that revolutionized the way you look at the world. This one for me has got to be 1984 by George Orwell. My all-time favorite book, it just has so many intricate things about it, about the way we see society and the government and I can't even express my love for that one, just like the N64. The GameCube. A popular book that didn't go over so well with you. Personally, I gotta say, I didn't mind the GameCube, but we didn't add that many games for it, so it kind of flopped. For me, this one's gonna be World War Z by Max Brooks. I don't know why I didn't like this one. I don't know if it was the writing style or just so many people I know that love zombies and everything, and I love, I love me some zombies, don't get me wrong. I just could not get into this book. Number five, that's a 10. <laughs> Number five, The Wii, your new favorite book. Okay, I guys, guys, I have to tell you about The Able. So it was written by Jeremy Scott of Cinema Sins. If you don't know about them, I'll link them below about these disabled kids who all have superpowers. And it's just absolutely phenomenal. I'm not finished with it yet. I'm like, I've been listening to an audiobook, which is really interesting in and of itself. I have about an hour left, um, so I definitely recommend you go check that out. It was abs it's been absolutely amazing. It's been up and down and a roller coaster of emotions. Definitely my new favorite thing. Number six, the Nintendo Power. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what this was. <laughs> feel like a failure. So just like I don't know what the Nintendo Power is, I don't read graphic novels. Sorry. Matter of fact, when I was trying to think of this, the only one I could even think of was The Walking Dead, but I think that's actually a comic book. So please suggest some for me. I like all sorts of things, so leave in the comments what graphic novels that you're reading that you think I should check out, because I really want to know. Number seven, Super Mario. What is a character that you would like to squish like a Goomba? For me, obviously, it's going to be Clancy Gray from The Darkest Minds. Out of all the villains, except maybe Sebastian, but out of all the villains, Clancy Gray just gets on my nerves so flippin' badly because he's just a creep. Uh, so I would just squash. Number eight is Zelda. What's a fantasy that you think should be turned into a modern classic? So I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really know what this one was about. We're just gonna have to go with Harry Potter. Like, I know you're gonna be like, but remember, just no. No, Harry Potter is the only answer. Shh, Harry Potter. Oh no, my roommate is home. They're gonna hear me talking to myself. They're gonna think I'm a crazy person. Number nine is Samus. What is a favorite sci-fi novel that you recommend? Everyone should go and read Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. 
Especially if you're enjoying this tag, you need to go read Ready Player One because it's about video games and virtual reality and it's just so good. Number 10 is Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Editions that you want to collect. Just any time Barnes & Noble has a special edition of a book, I want it. Any version of Harry Potter, especially the new paperback ones where they all line up to make Hogwarts, so flippin' beautiful. But unfortunately I own all the books, even though mine don't match, which is kind of tragic, but I can't justify buying all new ones. So that. Donkey Kong! Number 11 is going to be a book with original characters. I'm just going to have to go with The Ables because it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, it has a blind narrator, which is obviously something I've never read before. There's so many unique perspectives because of the character's handicaps, and I just, you gotta go read it. Go do it. And the last one, number 12. What is your favorite Nintendo game? Mine has always been Pokemon. Like, ever since I was little, just. Pokemon, but I also really loved Mario Kart. I am always have been absolutely terrible at it, but I just love it so much. It's just so unfair and turning all your friends against you, but you know what? Would it really be Nintendo if it wasn't turning your friends against you? No. That's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed the tag. I will see you guys later.